Everyone knows that the time you spend studying for a big test or reading a dry text for a class that you're not particularly excited about can seem like forever, but it really only feels that way. Research has shown that people have a tendency to overestimate how much time they spend working, and that applies to students just as much as to adults in the working world. So you may think you're studying 20 hours a week, but it might be significantly less. Researchers discovered this by having people keep a daily log of how they spent their time for a week, and then asked them to report how many hours they worked. Comparing the estimate to the log, they could see that people tended to overstate their work hours by 5 to 10 percent, and some people by as much as 50 percent. Obviously, if you don't have a good sense of how many hours you're actually spending studying, and how much work you're already doing, it's hard to know how to plan your schedule. So a great first step in time management is to spend a few days or a week tracking your time. Use a phone-based or paper calendar and set a timer to go off every 15 minutes that you're awake. Whenever it goes off, write down what you've been doing for the last 15 minutes. Be honest with this. If you spend half an hour on Snapchat giving yourself puppy ears and sending silly photos to your friends, write that down. If you cheat on this, you're only cheating yourself. At the end of the tracking period, it's time to do a little data crunching. Figure out what things you really want to know. For example, how much time am I spending outside of class studying or working on homework? Or how much sleep am I getting? Or how much time do I really spend on Facebook? Add up the numbers and see what your patterns are. You might be surprised by where your time is going, and you can use this information to better plan the weeks to come and to make time for the things that are your priorities.